I got my fan club here tonight. Is that, is that what part of that is? All right, thank y'all. Y'all having a good time so far? Yeah. Uh, went to the concert get started here in a little bit tonight. This place is going to be rocking and rolling and country five like none other. I get the privilege and honor of introducing a gentleman that I played country music in bands from 1975 to 1985 in the greater Cincinnati area. Knew him, a great musician, a great talent, and he's got a great bio, and I'm going to read it all for you right now. So listen up to this. This man is a legend. He started playing music at about eight years old. The first time he played with a major name was when he was in his early teens. He backed up Miss Dynamite, Brenda Lee. He played with a lot, he played a lot with Kenny Price. They played together several times on the Grand Old Opry and with several other names in real country music. They also played on the West Virginia Barn Dance several times. All right, ready for this? He played with or opened for Lonnie Mack, Conway Twitty, Marty Stewart, Lester Flat, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, Barbara Mandrell, and Little Jimmy Dickens. And everybody remembers him, I'm sure, from down there in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Opry Hotel. He played on and off with, for many radio stations, WZIP, WUBE, WCLU, and WPFB. He was a regular on the Jimmy Skinner Show. Remember him? He used to have a music store out in Carthage, I was, wasn't it? Yep, okay. He was part of the studio band with these TV shows, Jim Scott, New Faces, Nick Clooney, and Rule Route 12 in the 1960s. Junior was one of the top session players in this area for Paternity, Rusty York, and several others. He did a lot of studio time in Nashville and did an album with Lonnie Mack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. Junior Spidey. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody out there, and especially my old friends. I got, like, God Almighty, where did I set this up here? I'd like to start with my dad, my brother Ed, and Bertha Rice was an old man. That he, he got me into the chicken roost, and uh, him and my dad played 15 years together out there at one spot. Then after my dad passed off, I mean, we left there, he uh, hired me, and then I played there for about three and a half to two years. And then I met up with a man named Orgy Ray Hubbard, and he's in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. Plus, we're in the National Hall of Fame, but we're in the archives. We're not on display, but we're there. And, uh, and some of my original bandmates, like uh, Harvey Purdyberg and a friend of mine up there today, Ed Centers, he's here. And we started way back when, I don't know when, but man, we, we had a lot of good times. And then Terry Williams, a good drummer, very good drummer. And then uh, Truman Fields. And then I got into recording, and my good buddy, Dennis Hensley, he really showed me the ropes about getting into the music business as far as recording. And he helped me along the way so many ways. And then of course, then there was also Doug Beckelheimer and uh, Lee Hay. She did an, uh, what would they call it, uh, interview with me and Orangey before he died on uh, WVXU. And that was really a privilege there because she is a nice woman, really did right by me and Orgy. And then uh, in ending this, what I'd like to say is I'd like to say that my good friend that owned the Southgate House Revival, 
Ross Raleigh, he passed away. He was planning on being here, but he couldn't make it. His daughter went to wake him up this morning, and he didn't wake up. So he passed on. But he has had a lot of musicians, like me and Orangey and everybody, to play for him for many, many years. And he was a trooper, just like the rest of us guys. So and I'd just like to thank everybody. And I appreciate the honor. And uh, hope to see you soon somewhere before I get too old. <laughs> Good night.